In this video, I'm going to show you how to start with uh, Gemini CLI and the newly added GenKit MCP server to make your development experience with GenKit much easier. So let's get started. We're, we're going to initialize a uh, node project and we're going to install the dependencies here, the GenKit CLI and the Gemini CLIs. It's going to take a second. Okay, now that we have the CLIs installed, we're going to go ahead and run the Gemini CLI. Let me make this a little bigger. I'm going to pick the default theme and I'm going to uh, ask it to keep the settings in the in the workspace. And uh, now here we see our configuration file. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add the Genkit MCP server configuration in here. Okay, so this is going to be uh, called Genkit, Genkit server, and the command is npx, and the arguments is Genkit MCP. It's going to run in the in the project root. So let's just quickly uh, restart the Gemini CLI, and we're going to uh, test the Genkit MCP server. So one of the features of the Genkit MCP server is that it's uh, um, uh, it can look up documentation and you can list flow, run flows and get the traces. Uh, and we can say, uh, like for example, we can uh, give it a task, uh, implement a recipe generator flow, uh, check Genkit documentation first. Okay. Okay, we can always allow calling tools from the Genkit server. Okay, now it's telling us to start our code, and here uh, this is the command that we need to run. So uh, by, de by default, the Genkit MCP server uh, will just give you documentation, but if we uh, start, start a new terminal here and we're going to run our code, so here now we have our, our code running and uh, the the Genkit, all, all the uh, tool APIs. Here we can go ahead and and say, run re uh, recipe generator flow. All right. So here we see that it ran our flow, and here's the recipe that it generated. And something else that we can do, for example, we can say, uh, analyze the trace. And here we see that it's calling the the MCP again and getting the trace details. And here it's giving us uh, some details about the about the invocation, some analysis. Maybe like we can ask how many tokens were used. Yeah, this is like from the trace. It says that the this many tokens were used during the invocation. So yeah, this is how you use the new, newly added Genkit MCP server with Gemini CLI. Thanks.